Hi again, paddlers and coaches. I want to also talk about glute engagement and how we can help our paddlers find that um, when they're paddling because we, we aim to use our big muscles, right? That's the goal. We got the, the pecs and the lats and the glutes and the hamstrings. We want to make sure those are the muscles that are working in the stroke, not the small muscles like the biceps and the triceps. So one of the best ways um, that I can, um, direction that I can give to my paddlers is a simple alignment of the pelvis. So our pelvis is so important. So a lot of times what I see Pat, when, um, when my paddlers are what I call planted on their bench seat, they'll be paddling like this. So that means their low belly is tucked in, their back right here is rounded. And when you sit like this, there's no glute engagement. My glute, like this is how we sit at our desk, right? We're, we're completely disengaged. So the drill or the feedback or the visual or the sensation in the body that I like to give to paddlers is to rotate the pelvis. So I like to get them to put their pelvis up and keep their waist long. Now, right here, my glutes already engaged. I, I can't help but my glute to be engaged. So now it's available for me in the stroke. So by having this um, length in the waist, we engage the glute because we're holding ourselves up, okay? It also gives us some stability in the stroke. If we're rounded and we go to our stroke, we end up like this. If we're stable in our stroke and coming out of our waist, we end up like this. And this is where we want to be. So that small shift from going from rounded to sitting up straight will give your paddlers the ability to get their glutes engaged in their stroke.